20 facts you didn't know about Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Number 1. Ewan McGregor kept getting so caught up in making lightsaber sounds that it became a nightmare for the editing crew during post. It was quite difficult not to make the sound. Number 2. Kira Knightley's parents actually didn't want her to audition, but she insisted since she was such a big Star Wars fan. Number 3. After being fully dressed with full makeup, Kira's mother couldn't decipher which girl was Natalie Portman and which was her daughter Kira. Number 4. Qui-Gon's communicator is actually just a Gillette Sensor Excel razor for women with a little bit of redesigning done. Number 5. The sets were built to the height of the actors and actresses with CGI filling in the rest, and Qui-Gon was so tall that he cost the crew an extra $150,000. Number 6. Natalie Portman had to miss the premiere party in New York City because she had to go home to study for her high school exams. Number 7. Jake Lloyd has said that there's a lost cut which was 6 hours long and mind-bogglingly good. Only a few people saw it before it was lost. Number 8. Liam Neeson and Ewan McGregor were taken to a room with a long wooden box full of 20 lightsaber hilts and given 10 minutes to choose their personal weapons. Number 9. During the first week of the trailer, 75% of theatergoers bought tickets for random movies just to see the trailer and walk out. Number 10. To record the sounds of the crowd at the Bunta Eve Classic, Ben Burt recorded the crowd's reactions at a San Francisco 49ers game. Number 11. At the Bunta Eve Classic, the girl with blue hair next to Jabba is actually wearing the same outfit as Slave Leia from Return of the Jedi. Number 12. Watto is actually crippled, and you can clearly see that one leg is longer than the other and has a broken tusk on one side. Number 13. Jake Lloyd hated filming the first conversation with Padme, and this specific scene was used for the audition for Padme and Anakin. I'm a pilot, you know. Number 14. Originally, Michael Jackson wanted to play Jar Jar Binks, but after George cast Ahmed Best, he took him to a Michael Jackson concert to get his approval. Number 15. The sound of the battle tanks was recorded by running an electric razor under a metal salad bowl and lowering the pitch. Number 60. Anakin's Padawan braid at the parade doesn't make sense since his hair was never that length at any point in the film. Number 17. When the Queen lands on Coruscant, there is tons of air traffic above them, but none of it reflects off of the ship's hull. Number 18. When the pod race is about to begin, Sibalba breaks the stabilizer, but in the next shot, you can see that it isn't broken over his shoulder. Number 19. When Anakin says he'll try spinning, he turns his joystick to the left, but the ship ends up spinning to the right. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. Number 20. When Darth Maul force pushes Obi-Wan into the pit, he does so with his right hand in the close-up, but in the wide shot, it's his left hand. 